Hello gaming friends. Today I want to give a short introduction to the latest and I think coolest remote control that I made for the shared game timer. But first a quick little explanation of why you would want a remote control for an app. You know it works just fine in the phone right? It does but if you're like me and you think that phones can be a bit of a distraction around the board game table you know, notification comes in and suddenly your friend is checking out Facebook instead of paying attention to the game. That's kind of annoying. So if I can, I like to use a remote control instead so that the phone can be put away in the background and then you use something else to control the game timer. So you get the benefit of having a game timer, kicking people out of analysis paralysis and all that stuff, but you don't get the distraction of the phone. So what you would do is that you would put this thing into presentation mode. That way uh, the screen is, you know, it shows the player color very clearly. You can see at a glance how much time each player has taken. You get all the voice prompts and so on. Uh, but then you put the phone in the background and then no one touches the phone anymore. They just control everything through this little device. So what is this? So this is, it's one single electronics board that I bought from a company called um, Adafruit. Uh, and then I 3D printed a case for it. And then inside the case is the battery. And that's all it is. It is fairly easy to do at home. Um, and the 3D printer case, if, assuming you don't have a 3D printer, you can always order it online. So what can this thing do? Well, let me give you a little demo. So let's put this in the middle here. It's the star from now on. So what we have here, uh, we got two buttons and a few sensors. I'm gonna show you those in a second. But right now we can see that it's the red player's turn, it's Gustav's turn, and the game is starting. So to start the game, I simply press the main button. Good start. And you can see all of, all of the things that happens here also happens in the main phone. Um, so it's my turn now, you can see how much time I've taken and when I'm finished my, with my turn and I want to pass over to the, the blue player, I simply Ada. press the button again. And now it's Ada's turn. And the percentage at the bottom is the percentage of time that that player has taken throughout the entire game. Sam. And we have three players here, uh, red, green and blue. Um, and then uh, we're also using rounds. So if Sam wants to finish his turn and pass a round, instead of pressing this button, he presses this button. Sam passed. Next up, good start. And so now uh, it won't become Sam's turn again until we're done with the entire round. Ada. So after Ada, good start. It goes back to good stuff. So um, there's a few other things. Cool, for, like this is the main thing that you're going to do with the timer: ending your turn and passing the round. But if in the middle of my turn we suddenly have a huge rule argument and people start flicking through the rule book and so on, and you want to go into admin time. Um, that's very cool. All you do is that you admin time. turn the screen, the whole device, upside down. You'll also see that whenever you rotate the device, the screen always orients itself so that it's easy to read. And when we finally figured out the rule and we want to go back to my turn, we simply turn the device back again. Good stuff. Um, if you want to pause the game, say the pizza arrives and suddenly you want to take a break from the entire game, uh, all you do is that you turn it face down. Game pause. And it pauses the game. And you also saw maybe that the screen went out and it does that to say battery. And then when you're ready to continue the game, Good stuff. just turn the device back up again. Um, I'm going to end my turn. Ada goes back to Ada. If I now go, oh no, no, hold on, hold on. Ah, can I take my turn back? I wasn't quite done yet. Um, you can simply undo that. shake the device back to good start. and that undo um, the last thing that you did. It has a few other sensors. Uh, you can program it quite, quite easily to do things. Let's say you wanted to do something special if you turn it like this, you can do that. I haven't done, there's nothing I wanted to do. Um, it's got a little proximity sensor here, so you can program it to do things when you like wave from one side to another, or the other way, or up or down. Uh, you can program it to do something special if you cover the screen. Uh, but I don't need those things. Um, right now it does everything that I want it to do.
Um, so like I said, this is fairly inexpensive to make um, and it's really cool. The full instructions for how to build it and how to and all of the code that goes into making this thing is in the description below. And if you have a cool little project that you think that you know you could uh, combine electronics and gaming or programming and gaming, do let me know. I love making these little projects. All right. With that, happy gaming.